Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another interview. Now, I'm pivoting here. In, in the past, I've interviewed a lot of established business owners back home and here too. Roll Tide, Roll Tide. But since we're in college, I, I, I came to think of the other day, like there's, there's so many students here that have amazing ideas that they're pursuing. Some may be established, some maybe they're working on their ideas and it's starting to ascend and grow and catch some traction. And Julian Woods right here happens to be one of those people who has a prospective idea that's starting to ascend. The Big Faith brand, Faith, uh, Faith Until You Make It, it's right here on the shirts. Um, um, I'm happy to welcome today as um, a fellow entrepreneurial student, Julian, how are you feeling today? Thank you for having me, Brian. Absolutely. I'm glad I'm to have you. great, for sure. Thank you for having me, for sure. Of course, of course. I'm, uh, I'm, looking, to, I'm looking forward to getting into your story a little bit so that you know, students can really see what other UA students are up to. It's, it's truly incredible. Let's do it. Let's do it. For all those out there who are just getting acquainted with your brand, what exactly is Big Faith Brand? Um, so Big Faith Brand and the Vision of Me, um, it's a brand that inspires people to live a life full of passion and purpose. The brand really curated from um, me thinking about just faith and the substance of what faith is. And um, faith really is, um, if you were to look it up, it's complete trust or faith in someone or something. Um, some people have faith in God. Personally, I have faith in God. But some people just have faith in what they're doing. Um, so just the substance of faith. I kind of believe we all move by some uh, some substance of faith. But oh, to absolutely. make it complete faith, I thought um, that's what this brand can be all about. Um, I want this brand to inspire people to go after their dreams. Um, the really where the thought of this came from is I was thinking about my GPS. Mm -hmm. And um, when you type in an address to your GPS, you know exactly where you're going. And also you trust the process of which way you're going. So I figured in life, I think it's the same way. Like for me, I know as an entrepreneur, I have goals and dreams that I want to be at, but I have to put that in my mind and trust the process through going through it. And I think that is complete faith. To guide you, you know, you, you, you need something that's gonna guide you that you can just invest your full trust in. And how do you marry, like, how do you marry those those two concepts? Like the the, the, the concept behind your brand, like, like like everything that it means to you, and the clothing, like like how how do you project that meaning behind your brand through your clothing? Well, um, I I believe that you know everybody wears some yeah. type of clothing every day, and um, I think you know what you wear has something to do with what you want to say, a message that you want to delay on that specific day. You know, for you, you probably really like the Marlins. You know, and for me. Clothing. For me, I just was feeling fake it till you make it today. This is actually a slogan I have for my brand, fake it till you make it. I like um, that. Most people it's use cool. a slogan called fake it till you, you make, make it. it. But um, I believe if you're going to fake it, you can might as well fake it. Fake it till you make it because faith ultimately guides you to making it, right, Julian? Right. And so you've got this brand, the Big Faith brand. Indeed. How did you start and launch that brand? And what are you doing right now to execute that vision? Well, um... Long story short, the brand really started through um, something I was going through in my church called 21 Days of Prayer. Yeah, Highlands and Church. I got a vision, and um, I do believe you need a vision for anything that you do in life. You need to see it first. And I got a vision for the brand, but I didn't understand or know how exactly I could start it. But what I did know is that with the ounce of faith that I had at that moment, it was a lot. It was big. And um, I immediately went to see what did it take to make a shirt. I looked up everything it took to make a shirt. I went and bought all the equipment in one day, right when I left, um, I bought a shirt. And I honestly didn't know where to start, but I knew once I started, I could go somewhere. So I bought a shirt, um, got everything I needed to make a shirt, and I just honestly wrote out the name. Well, I printed the design on the name. So I didn't have my design yet, but I printed the words out. I printed Big Faith out. And from there, you know, while sleeping that night, I realized I went from waking up not knowing what I want to do with my life with a complete vision of a way I can impact people, and I did it in a matter of 24 hours. And I, I, I really like how <clears throat> you got this idea and you didn't sit around and, and overthink it. Like, like, like you got, you, you conceived the idea to start making shirts, conveying faith, and you, right. you, you didn't sit around and make these intricate plans. Like you just you just went for it. Like like you, you just started almost like a, a kindergartner playing with Play-Doh. You didn't, you didn't think about what you were gonna build, you just started building. 
And sure. I, th I think that that's been a huge component of your success so far too. Definitely. And um, like like you said, just starting. Um, I think. Yeah. It's like it's key as far as being an entrepreneur, and even as you go down the road through, you know, success in your own life, like you do have to just start sometimes. Yeah, like, you just know, do it. In order to finish, eventually you have to start, and you don't have to be too concerned about like failing because, I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna have a million dollar brand right when I started, but I knew oh. I had to start in order to have it. So also to answer your other question that you asked on what am I yeah. doing mm -hmm. every day to work on it, really just networking with people. Like I yes. met you and talked about my vision for the brand, connecting with other students on campus. Um, I do some marketing as far as on social platforms, but I'm definitely looking to impact people. So I'm, I'm working on now sh spreading the story throughout the brand. I want people to really understand like that it can happen to you too. I yeah. Think, I think just the fact that I was willing to try is going to inspire at least one person to try too, and it's working. Because you, you, you just see somebody doing it. When you when you see somebody your age and in your situation being productive and maximizing the time here kind of inspires you to do the same. So you're a student here right now too right. at UA, you know, that presents itself, you know, that, that's a, a, a whole other workload, a whole other realm of your life that you got to deal with. So yeah. how, how do you establish that balance between your schoolwork and pursuing a career after college and your vision and your business for Big Faith right now? Um, well. My work, ethic, my work ethic, ethic is really made from really just seeing my mom work very hard. Yeah. I've seen her, you know, be a single parent and still handle her job and handle her life. So I've been able to see that balance. And I'm a junior right now at the university, so I'm already halfway through. I used to be an athlete, so back in high school, I would have practice after school, and then I would still have school during the day. So. I've kind of always been in that mental routine to always be working on something else, you know, working harder than someone else is working. You've, and you've got something else too to, to, to balance it with, like, like you've got you've got sports, and then sure. you've got your school that you got to deal with, but like this ingrained that mentality from an early age is something that honestly I wish myself I was able to do because I got a lot going on now. But back in high school, like it was really just. Ooh, and that was it. So I, I wish I kind of wish I had that that, that leg up myself right. because it, it, it prepares you mentally and emotionally for what's about to come. And I I, I can see it now that that's had a big, yeah. a big impact on you. And, and and seeing other people is huge too. Right. I mean, I balance it really. I really balance it by just trying to do it. Um, it's, it's days where I have um, you know, I have my rough moments where like, I wake up and. I have to push myself even harder to, mm. you know, you got to work on the brand too. You have people to impact. But I think knowing that you have people to impact, um, it shows me that, you know, this is going to change somebody's life one day. You know, I have to wake up and work hard and work on that balance. Just the fact that I'm able to try to do it is, I think, what matters the most. That's what wakes you up. Like, like when you've you got something that you really resonate with and care about, that's right. what wakes you up. So. Both of us are in college. That that's the reality for us. Maybe it the is. next two years will be the next year. Presley, the next year and a half. But if, if if you weren't in college right now, if that wasn't part of your life, what would you picture right. yourself doing right now? What do I picture myself doing right now? If yeah. I weren't in college. Um. Honestly, I picture myself still working on my brand. I don't think anything that. Like, nothing has happened to me in college to where I was like, I have to do this because I'm in college. Um, I really wanted to do this brand because just of, you know, the concept of faith, you know, and I believe everybody has it. I believe everybody has it, but I, th I believe people's lives will change if that faith is big, if that faith is complete. Um, so what I would do if I weren't in college, I would continue to work on the brand. I probably would have a job or um, really probably go to trade school too. I yeah, trade, trade school. You want that money, trade school. I would learn to trade. I'm also into like um, real estate too, so just learning about that market is something I'll be educating myself more on since, you know, school takes up a lot of my time and then working on the brand. If I had time to really focus on real estate, I would look into it. Yeah, you know, there's there's, there's so many things you can do, like the, the, the degree is not requisite for success in life and there's so many other paths that you can take but I feel like being here too is so advantageous because it's 
it's kind of less of, a, of an uphill battle, like, uh, like when it comes to Big Faith Grand, like you got 40,000 people right here. I mean, if you if you pan back here, look at these tailgates behind us. I mean, those are all going to be filled with people affiliated with the community. Like, there's just, there's so many people here, and there's so many different opportunities. Like, me work with the sports marketing part right. right now. There's so many different opportunities, but trade school and just working on the brand and having a, a, a trade outside of that to combine with it. Like it's it, it's possible to succeed without it. Let me ask you this, how many people do you think come out here on a game day? Oh, tomorrow? So I, I, I guess it, it varies per game. Like last weekend, I'd say there's probably like 4,000 maybe. This weekend, there'll probably be like six. 6,000 people out here on a game day? Like, would you say that? Like, I, I mean, I, I'm just I would say a couple of like, maybe like 20 to 100,000, because the stadium holds 100,000 people. True. So True. I think like way more than four or six. But my point I'm getting at is that um, each one of those people who come out here, come out here on some ounce of faith. Faith, come out faith here on in the tide. So faith that they're gonna have a good time, faith in the tide faith in seeing some family members that they haven't seen. Some people travel all the way to this state just to come to this quad. So like back to talking about that ounce of faith that they have, you know, if it was big, where would that go? Yeah, like if, they, if it was, if you have that much faith in something and then something, you, you would establish something as big as Alabama football. It you takes know, like, faith. like that's all rooted in faith, faith to win all those championships. You know, it, it sure. takes, Without, with our teams in the past, like like, like all of those that, that that have won national championships from, you know, Mark Ingram and Trent Richardson in 2010 right. to, you know, AJ McCarron and even Bryce TJ Young, Yeldon. Even now. But, you know, Bryce Young, fingers crossed this year, and Mac Jones and Najee and Devontae Smith, Calvin Ridley, like all those teams, like there's faith that guide you forward to win that national championship. We have talent, but and you mix the faith in there too and the belief in each other. Yeah. This happens. Football. It's amazing what can, what can transpire, it really is. It is. So Julian, what does entrepreneurship mean to you? Entrepreneurship to me, hmm. It got you on your feet. It does, uh -huh. it got me on my feet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> entrepreneurship, it actually excites me. Um, it helps me look at the world in a different way. Mm. It, 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 really, awesome. it really gets my blood going. But um, what does it mean to me? It, it it makes me feel like I'm taking more like control of my life. Yeah, you hear yeah. that a lot, but like even school, I kind of feel like we're really just taught to, you know, the next step. You know, we go with, after 12th grade, after senior year, it's college. You know, after middle school, it's high school. Like, we know that, but entrepreneurship, you don't know. And like most people I think are, are afraid and are, you know, uncertain about the unknown in which I am both, but I'm, I'm passionate about figuring it out though. I'm yes. passionate about figuring out the unknown. Um, as far as with my life and that journey, I, I, what I love about entrepreneurship is that, yes, it comes with struggles, it comes with hard times, but you know, I think that's what makes life so great. Um, so with entrepreneurship, it just really means that, you know, you can really do what you put your mind to. And I'm um, like sharing my story earlier, like I didn't know what to do at the beginning, but I think just the fact that I'm walking on my two feet and I'm trying is worth living for. Oh, totally. Just just um, like d digging in and, and learning about something. Without a doubt. Like, so that's what entrepreneurship means to me. But something I did want to speak on actually is what, if I could picture what big faith looks like though. You know, you, can, you yeah. can't see faith. You know, you can't really like see it. So Yeah, it's not visible to the naked eye. You know, you love sports, don't you? Oh, uh, hell yes. yes. Hell yes. Um, so Hold you know high. NCAA tournament March Madness. Oh, the bracket! You gotta love it. It's a close game. It's a close game. The teams are about to go into overtime. You know everybody's watching. Whoa. Chattanooga. But, you know when you look <laughs> down the bench and the teams are locked in. I think like that moment, like that's a good picture, a good like frame of like what big faith looks like. You know, it's a lot of prayers that are said internally and externally in that moment. It's a lot of oh, yeah. it's a lot of belief on both ends of the court. It's a lot of belief in the stands. It's just like I think that moment just curates, you know, like big faith. Like if I could see it, it I would just take that picture, you know. 
And um, that's something that's very special to me. And I think it's unique that we're able to like put in our own perspective. You know, Big Faith may look different to you. Oh yeah. It, it may look different yeah. to somebody else. But I think it's unique that we all can picture what faith can look like for ourselves. And I, I, I like that analogy too with the locking arms because there's a theme that you can extract from that too. Because that's what, another thing that I love about sports, your, your functional teams anyways. Regardless of the outcome, you know, if you win, you still have faith in each other. You do. But if you lose, you still have faith in each other. You still have faith. You know, I mean, you can get, you can be Duke and be eliminated in the second round or first round of the tournament. Trust me, I felt that pain twice in my life. Thank you, uh, Lehigh and Mercer, for that. You still believe in each other after that game. You know, Coach K still believes in all those players. Right. You know, I. Thank you, Coach K, too, for 41 years of dominance. You know, and I was sad to see him go this year, too. Oh, yeah. it, just that, that analogy. Coach. Legendary coach. Legendary, Legendary coach. But just that analogy, regardless of the outcome, those arms are locked, and you're all believing in each other, win or lose. Yeah, faith is really what moves us, Brian, you know? And I appreciate you even taking the time out to interview me about this. Yeah. Because, like, I think faith is very important. Um, in every aspect of our life, you know, we have faith in everything that we're doing. Even the next thing we do after this day is going to operate off of faith, you know. And I do encourage you to use big faith, my man. Indeed, indeed. I I have faith that I'm I'm going to go back to my apartment. I'm going to sit in my pool. I'm going to crack open a land shark, and I'm just going to chill and, and enjoy the sunny afternoon. And uh, I've got faith in our tide tomorrow too. You know, it's a take every on bandy first SEC game. game. First SEC game. Oh, the blood is flowing. I I, I am. I'm stoked for this. Beautiful outside. We got good football. Had a good conversation today. Sure. You know, it doesn't get better than this. We've all got our health. You've got uh, we both got ascending brands. So, thank you for joining me today, Julian. This was incredible. I yes, really Brian. appreciated our conversation. Thank you, and I'm very thankful for it. Faith it till you make it. Faith it till you make it. Remember that message, people. Live it and be it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Julian, for joining me. Have a great day.